been a ride. I guess I had to go to that place. Hello everyone, my name is Aaron and um, as you know this is my HIV journey. So I had a very unique um, experience um, last night at work. I came face to face with a person that um, I became acquainted with during my drug relapse. I have been clean um, from crystal meth and other drugs for 265 days um, and I've went through NA, I've went through um, um, other programs um, but yeah so I've been clean for 265 days um, and it was it was one of those odd situations where you know you come face to face with the person that you were and and as much as I've changed and I, I do great things I recognize that the last year the last 265 days has been a journey to get me to where I am now when I relapsed I was dealing with a lot of emotions from losing my job to um, just being newly diagnosed with HIV my health kind of being up, up in air, and I had a lot of self-destructive behavior. Um, and I realize now that I was, I was lashing out. I was withdrawing from people. I was self-medicating, and I was just hurting as a as a person. And I keep photos of that time from whenever I relapsed, because when I look into the picture. Uh, and I have pictures from that time, I look into my eyes and I see death. I remember the feeling of being on a five or six day binge, um, you know, shooting, snorting, whatever, you know, two three hundred dollars worth of, you know, smack and crystal or whatever um, per day. And you know, I got to a point where I was lying to my friends. I was ditching out on school and on work. And I would just basically be shut up in my house for, you know, days on end. I would never leave. I wasn't eating. I wasn't sleeping. Um, basically, all I was doing was getting high. And chasing that high that an addict chases. Um... You know, there's one fact about a person's high. An addict always chases that first high that they had. But the reality is you'll never get to that point again. And the more you use, the more you need to use. The more you use after that, it just becomes this perpetual cycle. So at the end of the night, um, I reached out to this person and I apologize to them. I apologize because that's something that you're taught in NA to do. You need to make amends to your friends and family and those you've hurt. And although I didn't hurt this person, I think it's important for them to recognize that, you know, I'm a much different person now. Um, I'm to a happy place in my life and I think a true testament of that is I've went for the last year and I've had some of the ups and downs whether it's homelessness or not having money or or whatever. And yeah, while I'll always, you know, be an addict and I'll always think about drugs, um, I never once felt like I needed to resort back to relapse. I never felt like I needed to use again. And and I think that's just a natural state of where I've gotten in my own addiction, my own recovery. Um, I'd like to hear your story of where you are. Um, I am in a good place in my life, and uh, this person um, confirmed that. And they said, you know, we know that you are a much different person, and, and that you, you can just tell by looking at you, you're a happy person, you're a healthy person, and you're doing so much. And I, and I guess that's just really all I can do to make amends. Um, but I'd like to hear your story. Have you dealt with addiction? Have you dealt with um, substance abuse or alcoholism? What did you do to get over it? And have you had those embarrassing moments where you had to come face to face with the person you were? 
comment below um, and um, please let me know what you did. Until my next video, do something positive.